I'm Karina. This week's top stories are Massive black hole goes missing. The gateway to hell growing bigger. 105 year old woman farmer awarded Padma Shri. Top French award to Indian physicist. 20 year old with cerebral palsy enrolled in medical college. Awaiting safe and secure Tokyo Games 2021. Anshu Jamsenpa scales new P. CBSE exam reforms in 2021. PC award to St. Rafael's faculty. SRCS celebrates Republic Day. A supermassive black hole with a mass of around 100 million times that of our sun is nowhere to be found. When NASA began studying the galaxy cluster Abel 2261, which is located about 2.7 billion light years away from Earth and is around 20 times the diameter of the Milky Way, the space agency is expected to find a monster black hole at its core. A washed crater in remote Siberia named Batagaika is the biggest mega slump of its kind in the world, and it's deepening, revealing thawing permafrost and ancient forests that could unlock secrets to climate change. Locals call it the gate to hell, is already about 1 km long and 50 meters deep, is thawing at an alarming rate and is fascinating scientists as melting ice uncovers ancient forest animal carcasses offering unique glimpses into the past. <laughs> Noted agriculturalist Papamal from Coimbatore received the Padma Street, fourth highest civilian award in India on the occasion of 72nd Republic Day. In addition to contributing to agriculture and establishing a role model for many generations, 105-year-old Papamal continues to be active by participating in various agriculture-related events. Indian physicist and Padma Shri Award recipient Rohini Godbole has been conferred with one of the highest distinctions granted by France to honour eminent persons, the Audrey National Cumere. Godbole is a 68-year-old professor at the Centre for High Energy Physics in the Indian Institute of Science, who has been recognised for her commitment to promoting the visibility of women in science and contributing to collaborations between India and France. The Kerala High Court has come to the aid of a physically challenged candidate, P. Ashwadi, who was denied admissions to MBBS course despite being allotted a seat in the medical college after securing a high rank in the National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. Ashwadi, who belongs to Kakara locality in Malapuram district, had overcome cerebral palsy to secure 556th rank in the NEET special category, was allotted an MBBS seat in the Government Medical College, Manjeri. The International Olympic Committee determined safe and secure Tokyo Games with the proper vaccination of participants. The Games were originally scheduled for the last summer, but were postponed in the face of the first wave of coronavirus pandemic. The IOC and the Japanese organizers rescheduled the game for July 23rd to August 8th this year. 41-year-old Mount Nyujam Senpa, mother of two from Arunachal Pradesh, has killed the world's tallest Mount Everest on five different occasions. She conquered the Himalayan giant twice in a season that earned her the record of being the first woman in the world to climb Everest twice in a season. Jim Senpa got the better of the 8,848-meter-tall Colossus twice in a space of five days and is the fastest double climb of Everest ever by a woman. As part of the National Education Policy 2020, the Central Board for Secondary Education will introduce improvement examinations from the year 2021. Application forms will be available in the official CBC website for candidates who would like to improve their scores, fail students or dropouts from class 10th and 12th. The Shija Career Coach received the PCM National Award 2020 for the best online KG teacher for giving brand new online learning experience for learners. She was rendering her services for the past 12 years in SRCS with hard work, commitment and great love for her students. She was selected from 2,000 nominees of 392 different schools from 10 different states in India. St. Rafael's Cathedral School celebrated the 72nd Republic Day in all its solemnity and grandeur by following COVID-19 safety rules. National flag was hoisted by the school principal Rev. Dr. Sunil Joes and manager Rev. Father Gino Chalakil addressed the gathering. This is the end of this week's news bulletin. Stay tuned.